It is shaking up the race for president, an Arizona Supreme Court ruling that bans virtually all abortions and threatens doctors who perform them with prison. But this ruling is actually being denounced by Republicans all the way up to the former president, Donald Trump. And as political analyst John Keller explains, it's not hard to understand why. Republicans know that this is an Achilles heel issue. Do they ever? Every Republican governor of Massachusetts since 1991 has at least pretended to support a woman's right to choose, with Charlie Baker even signing a bill wiping out old laws restricting abortion rights, like the 160-year-old abortion ban reaffirmed by the Arizona Supreme Court that left abortion rights opponents jubilant. Today's decisions should be celebrated. But had the Republican presidential nominee scrambling for cover. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land. But would former President Trump sign a national abortion ban if he had the chance? Trump shook his head and mouthed no when asked today. We can't let Donald Trump lie his way out of this. No wonder Democrats are so eager to block the exits. Strong abortion rights support among independent women voters helped keep the 2022 elections close and put Joe Biden in over Trump in 2020. When you probe and you ask about that specific issue, the intensity within the issue is stronger and it shows up in a lot of these state ballot questions. He would sign off on a national abortion ban. Let's be very clear about that. And that obviously makes the contrast between Joe Biden and Donald Trump quite clear. But if Trump can put it all behind him now, it'll be up to Biden, Harris and company to make sure those swing voters remember in November. The overturn was in 2022, so it was fresh on the minds of voters. And it's the onus is on the Democrats to remind the voting electorate, those who people who are swing voters in swing states, to make it an issue again. So, John, do you think this is a guaranteed boost for Democrats? No guarantees in politics, not these mm. days, Paul and David. And, and the Democrats shouldn't assume they can just ride this back into the White House. Dave Paleologos pointed out that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is pulling more than 20 percent of the female independent vote in some recent wow. polls. It's a big number. If enough of them find safe harbor in him, it's big trouble for Joe Biden. One problem with all that, as recently as last summer, Kennedy said he supported a 15-week abortion ban. He has since backtracked on that. So when those voters find out about that, they might not love him quite so much. We've seen in the past, though, just a couple of votes That's from a third right. party can really change things. Our elections so. do seem to come down yeah. to a handful, don't they? Yes, they do. John Keller. Thank, thank you so you. much.